Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo 64 games on your Mac. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now you can see me playing some GoldenEye. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be downloading our free Nintendo 64 emulator called 64's 0.9.2. What you want to do is come to this link, click the download button right here and your download will begin. Once your download is done, you want to move it to a location where you can find it easily, and it's going to come in a .zip file. You want to extract the contents of the zip, and you're looking for the 64 N64 emulator like I have here. Then what you want to do is double click to open your emulator, and if this is your first time trying to load it, you may get this pop-up message saying it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. This is really easy to fix. Come up to your Apple logo on the top left, go to System Preferences, click on Security and Privacy, and then you should see this pop-up message on the bottom. All you want to do is click Open anyway to the right of that, Click open one more time and then what you want to do is enter the credentials of the admin on the PC or if you are the admin you may just have to enter your password. In this case I have to enter the credentials and the password of the admin. Once this has been entered all you want to do is click modify settings, close it down and then your emulator will open up. This little pop up right here on our emulator is saying that if you want to remove a watermark from our emulator all you have to do is click register. In this case I'm not going to be registering, I'm going to be leaving the watermark on it. But of course you can register to remove the watermark, I would recommend it if you're going to be using it long term. The next thing we're going to be talking about is games. And games Games will usually come in a .zip format, so it's really, really easy to extract games. I'm not going to be showing you today's video or to download games, but of course games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. But sometimes your games might come in a .7-zip or .rare format, and in this case you'll need a second software to actually open it, and that's where Kika comes in. Kika is a free extraction software that's really, really easy to use for Mac. So if your games come in a .rare or .7-zip format, come back here, download Kika, and you'll be able to open up your games really easily. But once you have all this done, you simply want to double click to open up your games, and your games will usually come in a .n64 format and that's what we're going to be looking for for our emulator. The next step is to reopen up our emulator, come to file, go to open, locate to where your .n64 game is. Right now mine's on my desktop, you can see GoldenEye right here. And once you click open your game will load up and it's as easy as that to play Nintendo 64 games on your Mac. Games run really really smooth and you can see now on the bottom right my little watermark. But of course like I said all you have to do is register to remove this. But games work really really well and they're really really easy to play. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to suggest a tutorial, let me know in the comments down below, I'll be sure to get around to it. If you found this video helpful and you want to support the channel, I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.